All right, this is my stove. You can tell which burners I use most. I got some stuff to get the paint off, so I'm gonna try that. I've never used this stuff before, but it should work. Um, might be going a little overboard, but I guess it's best to be safe. Okay, it looks like you can see it starting to come off. I'm gonna try this thing. It's like a wire brush. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's coming off. It seems to be coming along. This stuff seems to work pretty well. I switched over to the steel wool. Seems like I'm having better luck with that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, crap. I definitely took off the... I don't know what it is, like enamel or something from this, so it's gonna be straight down to the metal, but I guess it's okay. This is looking a lot better. It got scratched a little bit from some of the things I used. It'll still look better than it did, I think. It's harder to get the paint from around the burners. I guess maybe the heat tempered it or something. So uh, it's probably gonna take me some time to get, to get the paint removed from there, but the rest of it, you know, seems to be coming off. Okay. I think this is all I'm gonna do for now. I could kind of get this paint with a lot, a lot of elbow grease, but it's gonna take some time. So I think I'm gonna do like a little bit at a time. The top part is really, really unfortunate though. Maybe I should just get a new stove. <laughs> uh, why did I ever paint it? Okay, today we're gonna do Jack's Lazy Man's Pork Chops. Now I did not have rice aroni in my store for beef. They had other flavors, but not the beef kind. So I got this sort of uh, generic brand from my local store. My pork chops look quite a bit thicker than Jack's. His were pretty thin, but here in the Midwest, we have pretty good access to good quality pork. So we're gonna give it a shot. Never actually tried this stuff, uh, but the last time I had rice aroni, I couldn't actually finish it because it was quite disgusting, in my opinion. But it wasn't the stove top kind, it was it was the kind that you get in a little bag where you can microwave it for like a couple minutes. It was quite gross. Alright, now it's time for the water. Following pretty closely along with Jack's video, not that this is a particularly complex recipe. All right, now it's time for the seasoning packet. Stir it all in there. Time to put the pork chops in. Push them around, like Jack says, and then we will cover the top. The box says about 15 to 20 minutes, but these pork chops are a little bit thicker, so we'll come back and check on it in about 15 minutes, and then just see how it how it's going. I should say that I do have backup dinner prepared, just in case this is really bad. Like I said, I don't know how mine is going to cook the same as his, just because my pork chops are much thicker than the ones he was using, but if they're looking too raw, I, I guess I'll try to cook them a little bit longer, maybe on their own. Uh, we'll see. There's only five minutes left on the timer, and uh, the top is still looking quite pink. So since mine are much thicker, I'm thinking of just flipping them over. In fact, I, I might do that, so that'll be one deviation. Okay, I went ahead and did that, and I'll probably give it a few more minutes as well than just the 15. Probably give it a good, give it a good 20 at least and we'll see how it is. I got some comments about my table. Uh, the table is actually clean. I clean it 
you know, all the time. Uh, the reason it looks like this is actually from a diffuser. A uh, diffuser tipped over and spilled, and that's what the, the liquid does to wood, I guess. The reason there's a square bit is because my uh, fruit bowl is square, so that'd be why that is. Okay, this is what it looks like now, and I remember I did flip it. The instructions on the box for this stuff um, is actually to cover it and leave it covered away from the heat for a few minutes. So I'm going to do that. Okay, we've let it sit for the recommended time. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Looks like it might be cooked all the way through. Well, I guess there's just one way to find out. Here it is on the plate. It doesn't look particularly appetizing, but it doesn't look like the worst thing I've ever eaten. I'm gonna cut into the meat. I don't know if it cooked all the way through. Yeah, it looks okay, actually. Yeah, it, it looks okay. Alright, time to try a bite. It's kind of a big bite, I'm gonna cut it in half. I mean, it's okay. Like, it, it, it's edible. I don't taste much seasoning in it at all, actually. Um, just regular salt and pepper before I cooked it probably would have been better. Um, I don't taste any of the seasoning. I guess we'll try the rice now. I mean, it's okay. I've never had this type before, so I don't know, maybe you're supposed to try them together, maybe? It tastes okay, it's kind of bland. There's really not much seasoning in the meat at all. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. Yeah, it it's okay. Uh, you, you, honestly, you'd probably be better served just seasoning the meat before you cook it. Maybe that would make it better. But I think you'd be better served if you seasoned the meat and then just grilled or or even fried the pork chops, and, and they would taste just way better. Way better. Well, guys, I, uh, I really wasn't expecting so much attention on these videos. Um, I kind of did it just for fun. <laughs> um... If you if you like it, uh, you know I'll I'll do more I'll do more of Jack's stuff. I've actually got some more ideas for his stuff and maybe some others. Might try some some other things I've got in mind as well. So I guess uh, 